Okay, um, this is gonna be a, a bit of a longer video. I'm uh, I'm in my artist account in Audio Sparks, and I'm gonna show you how to um, edit one of the tracks. And I'm, I'm gonna show you all of the information. I think Audio Sparks is probably the music library uh, where they ask for the most information. And when I say music licensing takes time, it's because not only does it take time to send out emails and wait for feedback but also when you do get the green light um, most of the time you'll need to tag your uh, your tracks yourself and and I'd say it takes about 10 minutes per tag uh, per track sorry and that's already once it's uploaded so in this case I've uploaded all the tunes so robotic uprising is already in there um, I, I just need to make sure that all the tags are right. For example, this description I'm not too happy with because um, it's pretty bland, like a somber driving track with big strings, brass and a powerful organ. Optimistic and energetic, the determined hero marches on and the army follows. Works perfectly in a, tra in a transition action scene in a dark industrial setting, so that's good with the fact that I'm helping them picture where it can be used. Um, but it, it could catch the eye a bit more because the idea is if, uh, you know, if someone is looking for um, energetic orchestral, they might get that, you know, as maybe the tense result on, on their results page. But reading this description, it's not, you know, they're not going to be, um, they might not be picking that one. They might not even listen to it because obviously if they listen to it, they would pick it because it's awesome. But <laughs> um, yeah, they just probably wouldn't listen to it based on that description. So let's, I'm just going to listen to the track. Um, So let's see what I've got in here. I think the description that's there is, a, is the description I have here. So robotic uprising, <coughs> sorry. Robotic uprising is right here. And see, that's the description I have here. But I actually think I need to rework it. Um. Now that that ought to catch their attention. Big, powerful, and spooky. Hide and seek in Gotham City. Marches on and the army follows. What's perfectly in a transition action scene. Okay, I'm actually gonna copy this. I'm gonna copy this new and improved um, description so that in the future when I put it in a different library. Uh, what the? Why is it not? Okay, I, I can just. Uh, you're always looking to improve, so recently I realized okay, my descriptions need to be way more. Um, way, more, way more powerful because you know I've got the keywords okay uh, so I probably end up in search results but if I want to maximize um, the actual sales I need them to to listen to the track and to love it obviously uh, but you know if I want them to listen I think if I uh, if 
if I mention Gotham City, I mean, come on, you want to listen to that, right? <laughs> I do. I love Batman. Anyway, um, here you see I have my keywords. So dark cinematic, blah, blah, blah. Uh, they tell you here not to repeat any words. Um, I also put a sounds like what kid, sounds like Hans Zimmer. Uh, so that's okay. Uh, and yeah, I have all, all my uh, keywords are in, uh, in my uh, catalog uh, tracker. Now, if I move on to the next one, save and continue. So you need, you know, I need to put my PRS number, uh, publisher number. I put the ISWC number. So that's uh, the, the one given by the PRO. It's right here in the... Um, in my uh, in my catalog tracker, so you have you have the template for the catalog tra tracker in um, in in the curriculum. So you'll find that. I also put the album it's from and the album ID. Um, this was my choice. You know, I don't want being used for porno, drugs, tobacco, uh, religious, satanic. Uh, I don't mind violence and gore um, so much. Um, because I, I think, I don't know, like all of these I can see where there's a problem in the way it's being used. Violence and gore is usually, if you go see a violent movie or gore movie, you, you know what you're doing. There's no, um, um, I don't know, no one's trying to make you do anything. <laughs> anyway, that's my personal thing. Um, you know, you don't need to check any of these if it, it's fine, it's just... Uh, it's just my view. Um, save and continue. So, okay, structural properties. Yeah, and sorry, if we go back, uh, you see here, oops, sorry. Here it says metadata text. So this, I, I didn't fill out myself. This is basically an automatic thing with audio sparks once you've um, well, you once you've gone through all their checklists, so all of these are on the next page actually. So save and continue. I'm going here, and see I checked I checked the instrumentation. So you have a structural properties um, tab. I have the BPM, but the way the BPM is also I have it here. Um, It's an instrumental, uh, the orchestra here, you can decide you know, what kind of uh, format it is. I, I put orchestra modern because it's like electro orchestral. I thought that's what fit the most, but go through that and see what fits yours. It's an instrumental, there's no language, and you know, I, I just manually add all of these, uh, you know, check all these boxes, uh, which is why I often... Um, I reopen the project, or I just listen to the track and 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 click as I um, as I hear the uh, the instrument come in. Save and continue. Now moods. So what I've done you, here, they tell you actually to enhance sales. Configure twenty. So I can figure 20. You can't do 21. You can do less, but and usually what I do is I listen to the track and <coughs> sorry, I um I just you know um I go through everything and and click so it, 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 when it's applicable. So it can take some time. Um, save and continue. So what I'll do, by the way, is for all, all these keywords, you'll have an, an Excel spreadsheet and, and a, probably in a Word document as well, and a PDF, um, just so maybe you can start getting used to these words. And when you're writing the track, you can, uh, you know, you can already maybe circle them and, and see which one, uh, um, if it applies to it any or, or not. Uh, here are styles. So you have 1920s. Action, adventure, garage, grunge, uh, gangster. You have a lot of things. You also have here uh, dance, like ballet, ballroom, bolero, 
uh, Bossa Nova. Uh, here I checked out the film instrumental or the movie trailer, uh, if you listen to this track, so it's robot. So I'm thinking, you know, it, it can work for uh, it can work for a trailer, uh, military obviously, patriotic. I'm not so sure, but I I wanted ten in there, and sometimes they give you information. So dramatic soundtrack, um, yeah. I think Audio Sparks is one of the best libraries uh, in 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 this um, as far as tagging goes. I mean the. Um, you know, I don't know if it's the best library for you. I don't even know if I don't think at the moment it's the best library for me. But in terms of helping you um, figure out how to tag your your tracks, it's it's really super helpful. And just so you know, if you do uh, submit to Audio Sparks and you get accepted, once you put a track on there, you can choose if it's non-exclusive or exclusive. But even if it's non-exclusive, you will not be able to take the track down. It's very very difficult to take it out of the catalog, they will only do it very, very, very exceptionally, which means almost never. Uh, so if you upload a track there, just make sure it's not one that you might want to sign exclusively somewhere else or or anything. Um, and it makes sense, you know, they say we don't want to we don't want to disrupt um, our, our database because it's not good for our customers. If the customer sees a track they like and then the next day it's not there, it's not good. So completely understandable, uh, but if you want to practice tagging your tra your tracks, I think Audio Sparks is a great uh, library to submit to. And even if you only upload a couple of tracks on there, um, it'll really help you um, organize your thoughts. Uh, region uh, here, it's only you need only to check if you don't want it to uh, be in in a in a particular region. So that's you know you may have a publisher that. Uh, handles all of your work in the US for example um, but not abroad so you might want to check out check um, um, the US but you know available for any other opportunity uh, I didn't check anything I'm fine with any region here um, it's where when you'll uh, when you'll add some 30 second versions or alternative ending or no bass or no drums whatever um, that's where you'll be able to um, you know to to add those and uh, to to configure that um, in my case it's the full mix so I'm leaving that here and I'll add uh, alternative versions later now. Pricing analysis, that's a really cool tool because they actually do the pricing analysis. So uh, I think usually you start at around $79, but for this particular track, based on all the information I gave them, they say, you know what, I, we think the market for this type of track is $115. So apply changes. You can price yourself up or price yourself down. I would suggest just applying the changes. Um, I know it's tempting to price yourself down so that you have more chances of getting picked. I, my view on all of this is never ever devalue yourself because all it does is it brings the market prices down and music is already a commodity these days. Uh, you see it you know, for albums but also in licensing a lot of royalty free music, uh, music libraries that you know they sell your tracks like one dollar, ten dollars and um, I think it's important that we keep big big game players um, pricing fairly. Um, so, yeah, I understand the appeal of oh, I'm just gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna get paid because nobody else will price this low. But that just means somebody else later will price even lower and lower and lower until nobody can make any money anymore, which is. Um, not what we want because it's just so cool to make music and uh, make money making music so yeah uh, I mean it's my personal point of view you do what you want really uh, all right save and continue and, and it's done and wait I just need to make sure yeah here at the very end you just need to click edit complete otherwise it, it won't uh, it won't save. So now I'm back. What do you mean? Uh, what's going on?
so as you can see I had already done all this and it's still it's still taking a while so yeah just remember it takes ages to do this uh, so what was the problem save and continue okay no problem uh, I don't think anyway let's see my projects oh no that's not what I wanted to do okay my account I'm just gonna check if it's a vendor track administration and let's find robotic uprising so now you see the the little folder is is blue it's red if you haven't finished um, so that's it that's basically it um, yeah so if you have the the chance to uh, submit a couple of tracks to audio sparks and um, I definitely recommend it as an exercise uh, don't put your best tracks if you you know if you're not sure you want to keep them on there forever because you won't be able to take them a, to to take them away out of the library but it's definitely good practice and if uh, if you want, don't want to do that or if you don't get in uh, the library um, just make sure you check out the, the spreadsheet and the PDF with the keywords and even if you do get in the library I think they're really good tools to to keep reminding yourself um, of how you you'll um, yeah how you're how you can get your track to come up in the search results and how you can once it's uh, you're in the search results uh, how to make sure that they actually listen to the track and you know that it's the quality of the music whether they as uh, they buy it or not and you know depending on the projects they're working on but uh, to maximize your chances it's definitely a good idea to spend a lot of time understanding the um, the tags you need to to include and, and the type of descriptions you need to come up with so I hope this was helpful and yeah, I just hope it was helpful. Good luck, keep going.